I saw the bullying video on the news today, and I had to look it up on YouTube. I was surprised to see how lengthy it was. I wasn't surprised at the content because I've seen enough young people today to know what they're capable of, probably what we would have been capable of at an early age if we had been allowed to do that. For anybody who says we were better, no, we weren't. I know kids that were just so cruel. We had a little girl that was overweight in school and all the boys used to just pick on her horribly and tease her and call her the worst names. I remember drawing a picture of a girl who was heavy. Now she'd given me a hard time about a couple things and actually probably uh, roughed me up a little bit <laughs> at times, but um, nonetheless, I was I picked on her too, and uh, I wasn't didn't consider myself particularly evil, but I probably was. And the only thing that kept me from being as bad as I would have been is the fact that my dad would crack my hind end with a belt as soon as I got home if he found out that I had been that way. But you can't say that all these kids had bad upbringing. You know, you don't know what happened. I was told not to tease people when I did it as a kid. I wasn't that cruel, uh, I have to admit, and I would have never teased an older person. But, you know, things are different. That's human nature, I think. We go as far as we're allowed to go. And things are going to get a lot worse, I think. When parents get angry and they hurt their children, they smack them, they're angry all the time and they beat them, it sets up a knee-jerk reaction to disallow any sort of corporal punishment. That's why we're here. It was abusive fathers that were nasty and angry, coming home drunk and beating everybody up. And we got rid of that, thankfully. But what we also got rid of was the ability to smack your kid on the fanny when he told you to F off. And you, you say, well, you can still do that. Yeah, you can do that as long as you don't have any money. And then if you've got money and the kid calls on the telephone and tells the police that you've beaten him, the onus is on you to prove that you didn't. And they come and they take him away and they charge you for his keep. If you're poor in the inner city, you can probably beat him half to death and they won't bother you. And if your kid lips off to somebody in the grocery store and you give him a swat on the fanny, you're going to have the police there. This is what you want in America. This is what you got. Get used to it. And they're going to only get worse. Sad thing.